This is the Doctor, continuing the Lone Wolf series 2 playthrough. We're on the quest to hunt down a barbarian king. He's somewhere to the east of here. Let's um, stop off at Gerberg, uh, sell some stuff, buy some tools and ammo, and pay for some tavern rumors. I bet they're like in here somewhere. Alright, let's see. I don't care about that. Don't. Tribal warrior camp in the hills east of here. That seems good. All right. Um, anyone we can hire? Ooh, a wild man and a cheap retired soldier. But I'm not gonna. Ooh, and a cultist. They can actually make a uh, decent, decent sergeants. But I can't afford to fire anyone right now because I need all of my guys to uh, fight this Barbarian King. I can't risk having new recruits. It's good to know there's some uh, good stuff here. We can sell off some of our goods. I think we can get an even better price elsewhere. So I'll just sell off some of the trash. Um, let's buy maybe tool stack, uh, two stack of tools, three stacks even. I want ooh uh, falcon that could come in handy. Yes, and another puppy. Although it's kind of an expensive one, but whatever, we got money. I don't know if I actually need the Falcon for this uh, upcoming fight here. I'm gonna save my better trade goods to sell at a more profitable town. I, think I will buy one more stack of tools. The prices here are acceptable. Pole hammer. Mm, I don't actually like those very much. I'm not gonna pay for that. Anything in the armor? We have a ooh a famed item. This is a nice nimble armor. Probably it might be here when we get back. You never know. Some of these helmets look really cool. Nordic helmet with closed mail. Hmm. The heater shields we have two already. Uh, they're bad ones, so they're liable to get broken what i'm actually gonna do is i'm gonna pay for the training lessons i tend to just pay for uh the rigorous schooling which is a little cheaper but you get five um five battles plus 20 percent experience veterans lesson is probably better you get a little more experience seeing fewer battles i might actually come back here the characters who i need to level up are the tank because you gotta get the nimble and the cell sword who's super valuable so i'm gonna oh prices are kind of high i kind of want to see if i can afford to buy that famed item after i sell off everything and i get paid mm, okay i'm not gonna pay for the training lessons then yeah there's a chance i might be able to afford that uh that famed item it could still be here, you never know. So now I'm just gonna head out. Don't forget, there's something to the east of us. So, um, otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm gonna pause the video until I find out Barbarian King or the next fight. All right, um, I did find this tribal warriors camp, but unfortunately it's occupied by lots of Barbarian Chosen. That's just too many. Without Nimbo on my front line, they're just gonna wreck us. They're like, gonna like two shot everyone, and they have 75 melee skills, so they're pretty accurate. Um, it's not impossible to beat them. I would have to use all my nets. I would almost certainly lose some characters. Plus, we have a contract to kill a barbarian king. I'll come back and deal with this camp once I have uh, a couple Nimbo guys, but it's just too risky to fight them until you have some nimbo characters and like just generally stronger characters we need better attack they uh they don't have you can't surround them they have underdog they have a surprisingly good defenses where is this barbarian king come on 
Hmm. This is annoying. Maybe they're down here? They said in the tundra's east. This is east. Let's go up. It could be up. You come across a caldera, which you find a new sheep nuzzling something. You, you see there's an enormous hound here. It's fur matted with blood. It's color reddish. Wait, what? I've never seen this. Uh. Okay, uh, dog fought a noxer. I've never seen this event before. Sure, you can fit in with us. We gain a warhound. Yay! Cool. That'll help us out on the barbarian fight, probably. Let's uh, go to this mountain up here. Otherwise, we'll start making a loop. Where is this Barbarian King? This is contract. Mm. Long way to the northeast. Are you kidding? Some Barbarian Reavers. It's easy enough to beat, but I bet the Barbarian King's that way. I'll come back and deal with that camp later. Not that I'm afraid of them, but because I want to go kill this Barbarian King. I don't think that's actually on the way. Wow. This contract's going to take a while. Mm, I'm not so pleased about that. I do like exploring the wilderness, but... Plethora of Reavers. We could beat that. Um... Okay. Reavers are still pretty dangerous. we got to be careful here. I'm going to pause the video as I re-equip. All right, I got my party set up. We got to be careful not to use too many resources on this fight. Um, but the barbarians are a dangerous bunch. I'm gonna equip a backup shield here. All right, get back to you. I thought about what to give my day tailor. Uh, mace spec is gonna start being useful, so I'll go ahead and take that. I'll start by double gripping the mace. It can do a lot of damage, and then we'll go from there. I've got two um, two flails equipped. Uh, a lot of barbarians tend not to have headgear, so this is a good setup. My boar, um, who I'm going to fire soon enough, needs to contribute for these upcoming fights. There's no question about that. You're going to go throwing spec because that's all you're good to do. And then you need to pick up quick hands next. You need to get us bags and belts. Take one of these and maybe a sword for the quick hand swap, maybe a spear. And then what else? Gifted is always very solid, just an immediate power boost because I'm going to dismiss you soon enough. Polar Mastery is also extremely solid. Being able to move twice and then hit with the polearm adds a significant amount of tactical flexibility. Plus you could um, throw a net and then stab once with a polearm. I'm not seeing much value in getting you Crossbow Mastery right now. Um, the ignore damage to armor isn't that critical. I'm thinking polearm Mastery might be quite solid on you. If that's the case, I should give you the better porn, even though your attack is a little lower. I just need power right now. Um, I honestly don't know what I'm going with you, like a warbow spec or not. And it does matter a great deal. I don't think any of the perks here will do much for you uh, in the upcoming fight. So I'm going to actually skip your perk. That can be okay. Ah, the Butcher. This guy's, uh, he's rolled too many plus twos. I don't like him anymore. We just need him to contribute. Some damage. Could always get rotation. Could, in theory, be decent with 
A weapon mastery of some sort, maybe flails? He double grip flails, that's not bad. I mean, he's not all that good. Uh, I gotta take something. You can't be sitting around with nothing for this upcoming fight. The swords is not a terrible, terrible choice right now. Pathfinder is not a terrible choice. Get two characters with Pathfinder, we can do something with that. I'm not liking anything else. I could get spear spec on you. Ah! Yes, you could be sort of a bad spearman. Spearmen typically need defense, but I don't think you're going to be long term for us. Having at least one character with spear spec will help a ton in all sorts of fights. Let's do that. Give you the sword. All right. Plethora of Reavers. Definitely a dangerous fight. Gotta be careful here. 14. That's doable. Three guys with the two-handers. Ooh, boy. We need to find something to break them up. We're gonna fall back. And then we're gonna reevaluate. Let's wait and see what they do first. Ooh, this is going to be one hell of a battle. I'm going to need all my cunning. Oh, this is a little too... Uh, the opportunity is a little too good. We might just fight here. Turn done, turn done. You can throw your puny little javelin... Fighting here definitely has some advantages. We can get uh, get someone to high ground there. Maybe you, with the bad defenses, but the mace could do very well on that high ground. Or I could fall back. Try to use some of the terrain to my advantage. Hmm. This high ground is liable to make the AI, uh, like, they'll want to take it. Let's wait some more, see what the rest of them do. Ooh. That guy with the hammer is so scary. Just need a tank to go. Does this guy have an axe or is it a throwing axe? I can't actually tell. I think it's a throwing axe. Your shield's gonna get broken. You could swap to the kite shield. So, with shield mastery, you should be okay. <sighs> Kinda wanna just start using the pole arm. The, uh,. Shoot bolts not gonna do much. I'm I gotta pause to think about my move here. Alright, I thought about this turn for a long time. The main decision is, do I want to fall back or fight here? 
and I think I'm just gonna fall uh, fight here. If there were a few more line of sight blockers, like bushes and stuff, falling back would make sense. To to uh, it's better for the battle if we can control the choke points. We do have two spear guys. One thing I'm actually really worried about is all these drawing weapons. And a lot of my guys don't have shields. Uh, the bower almost certainly will swap to the poarm, so I'm going to wait. Alright, how am I going to use everyone else? This fisherman has adrenaline. Don't forget that. They do not have, um, they have underdogs, so there's no point in going to the surround. I might adrenaline next turn. I'm gonna put you up on the hill here. Your shield is very likely to get broken, so I think an attack this turn just makes sense. But I can wait a little bit to do an attack. Also, I can release some dogs, don't forget that. The Cell Sword should use the Pike. Quick hands of that. So we'll wait. Try to go for the most dangerous enemy here. That Reaver. Okay. We'll go here in spear wall. I'm actually gonna, of all things, swap to the kite shield and spear wall because I think they're gonna throw these javelins to break my shield, and the kite shield will give me more durability. Okay, I'm gonna wait a little on the hedge knight. All right, my day tailor gets to go. Of all things, I'm gonna go here and swap to the shield and I'm not gonna use adrenaline my hunter will come up take a random pot shot anything helps a net what would I net if I net anything it's that reaver Try to kill you. Or I can just start chucking some javelins. I think this reaver is so dangerous. Let's start by netting you. Ah, crippling strikes. I didn't do enough damage to proc crippling strikes. That's disappointing. Alright. You have dodge. Ah, so I'm going to stick with the double grip here. You still have 22 defense. Very nice. This is why I got pull arm spec. Something like that. I am going to adrenaline now. Okay, we should be able to kill you next turn. No problem. Beautiful. Oh, that guy had the mace, too. Cool, cool. I'm not going to move up on them yet. So the reason why adrenaline may not be obvious is because I want to pop the shield. Now let's see what they do. They're liable to break my shield. Whoa. That's okay. Whoa. Those ranged weapons did a lot of damage. They're rolling on 47s. That's alarming. Okay, that's very bad. Oh, Well, that bower wasn't long for this world either. I thought the spear wall would have kept me safe. Obviously not. Uh, I know somebody was going to die. That's actually a problem. I can't be the Barbarian King without him. I could have been a little more conservative, I think. Now they're all confident. That was really, really bad. Those drawing weapons, uh, without dodge, it's just... Okay, 
This guy's gonna go Adrenaline. I can tell because he hasn't ended his turn. A lot of the other guys are not gonna go Adrenaline. Let's wait for Armor to get stripped off first. We might need to mass release dogs at this point. You just don't do enough damage. Okay, there we go. Injured shoulder, you're not doing much. You're gonna adrenaline, huh? Watch out, don't die. I think I gave you a shield, I might need it. Six turns. Good. This guy could rotate in potentially. I don't think the crossbow is worth it. And the monk. A big hit like that would be very, very bad. You're injured. You ain't doing much. Oh, I was really hoping to proc berserk there. Okay. I'm not drilling this turn. These barbarians are very smart. I think I uh, didn't play this very well. Losing that character, like he was expendable, but not yet. Good, he can't use his next turn. Okay, I'm going to do something pretty risky. I don't want you to throw more weapons. I have Underdog. They do not have Backstabber. I'm going to rush in here, shield wall, try to tank all these guys at once. You are just going to shield wall because I have a feeling these guys are going to try to break you. And let's... uh. I think my Hedge Knight is just going to stab twice and try to proc Berserk to do more damage. Oh, the puppy might die, but that's okay. That puppy uh, did a good job. This I'll take it. Don't kill my Nimble guy who ha hasn't got Nimble yet. Okay, okay, this, is, uh, this front's looking pretty bad. I need a net. I think it was this guy who had all the nets. That a uh, butcher could die. I should have fallen back. Even one tile blocker could have done something. Ah, uh, no nimble against barbarians is just like, can you imagine having to fight chosen? Okay, and they're super accurate. I might need a shield wall here. Let's uh wait a little bit. The bows aren't doing much, whereas this net does something.
No, wait. You have rotation. I might need it. Hold on. Um, I don't really see us killing both of these guys. But I see me killing him and rotating. All right. Those two misses. Very bad. Well, this seems like the time to drop a panic dog. But not yet. You just sit there and spam shield wall. You should do at least one stab though, because you're going to be out of fatigue next turn anyway. Okay. 31, 54. That's not good. Need to come around this flank and help out. Yeah, this is definitely the time for a panic dog. This butcher could die. You have no defenses. That's fine. That's great. Thank you, puppy. Yeah, that's okay. One turn. Uh, finding a plethora of chosen is perhaps not my finest move here. A bow, what would a bow accomplish? Not much. I could unleash another puppy. That could accomplish something. Woo! They're rolling 72s? How are they so accurate? This guy's gonna adrenaline. Can't have him doing that. Good. I'm going to need you to rotate. Hold. Good. You missed the dog. Dogs are pretty tinky. That front has stabilized. Forty five sixty. That's not good. I think I j my party isn't strong enough to fight the barbarians. I could be like, this is as tough as probably the Barbarian King fight. And I was okay with losing guys, but not like this. Okay, we're going to swap to the uh, Heater Shield for more defense now. This character is valuable, but 
All you can do is drop a panic dog and hope for the best. That's fine. Let's uh, go for the adrenaline. We might be able to kill you. Okay. That's less okay. I mean, he was a martyr, but I can't lose guys to do the Barbarian King fight. Uh, 11 turns. 23. Those odds are so horrifically bad. Uh, struck down. That's okay. Struck down is okay. He lived. That's all that matters. We need to start rallying the guys. Okay. I'm just not accurate enough for uh, these enemies. I could pick up a net and do something with it. I think I pick up the bill hook and do something with it next turn. Tank's doing well. Other spear walls would also help. Okay, good. Those are big hits. Well, my hedge knight hasn't joined the fray it's pre precisely because of stuff like this. turn done i need nimbo like i think after i kill the king i'm not fighting barbarians again until i get nimbo it's just so risky um one character that that beast slayer i did not want to lose him i don't care about the other two guys i lost it's probably a good thing my my hit chances are just so low uh, without better stats, you can't consistently beat these guys, I don't think. Another doggy. That's a good hit. need someone to deal with that reaper yeah all these adrenalines scare me
Okay. They hurt even my hedge knight. I mean, we have to be much more aggressive here. Good. Turn done, turn done. You're still not moved. Ow. That's okay, that's okay. You didn't do much. A lot of these guys are finally exhausted. This is why I take quick hands for shenanigans like that. No more shields, but we managed to kill one of them. I need to go back to town. Um, can I go ahead of you? What's my initiative? 49, probably not. Ow. Ah. Uh, I should have killed the king first and then tried for this camp. Yeah. I don't know. Fighting barbarians uh, until you get nimble. Oh, my monk could die. It's just, um, it's just very risky. Oof, he lived. I need nimble. Ooh, and I gotta bandage you. A lot I gotta do here. I have dodge, right? Uh, okay, that's good enough. Oof. Okay, I can bandage you next turn. Panic dog seems like a good idea soon. That monk you would be kind of tragic if he died. Ah, go puppies. Get him. Two fifty percent dodges. I don't like the fact that they're rolling on fifty percent. Hmm, these barbarians wrecked my company. I mean, the only character who I'm even remotely concerned about was that Beast Slayer. We cart. That's okay. We can work with that. There is a, a item that will get rid of that permanent injury for you. As for the thrower, eh, he's whatever. The day tailor, eh, he's whatever. I don't think I'm going to be fighting anything beyond that king until I get Nimbo again. It's just so risky without Nimbo. Uh, with Nimbo, none of those characters would have died. We did get tons of loot. So much, like, maybe two, three thousand worth of crowns of loot. Um, so overall, it was kind of fine. My main concern again is now I can't beat the Barbarian King. And uh, you are going in the back permanently until I can find the item to get rid of your uh, weakened heart. You could have got like brain damage. That would have actually been okay for you. No, it would have lowered your initiative. Eh. Like if you had Nimbo, you could have sat there, tanked them all, and laughed the entire way. Mm, I'm not I'm not pleased with that fight. I think I should have fallen back 
I also, uh, it's been a while since I fought these barbarians. I forget their stats are really, really, really good. So if you want to beat guys with good stats, you got to have your own good stats. There's no way we can fight the barbarian king in this state. We have to fall back to Gerberg. Maybe I'll go to Hammon, Hammer Ward first. Uh, we need to hire two more guys. If I recall, there were some decent recruits that I want to row on. So this is not necessarily a total wash, but I am not fighting a plethora of uh, of those things uh, again for a little bit. And we know the Barbarian King is still out here somewhere. Hmm. All right. We did get one of these uh, heavy javelins, which will be very nice for a drawing spec. You're going to sit back. Once you get nimble, you'll still be fine uh, as a tank. So I'm going to pause the video here. I think I could have done that fight with only one or two losses. I shouldn't have lost three guys. That opening salvo where they hit all of their uh, range weapons on that poacher. Ugh, that was brutal. That was really the rough round there. And then uh, things did not go well from there. We're also missing, like, some of our guys are still using pitchforks. Eh. I don't think you can fight barbarians reliably without just better equipment in general. Anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time.